speechless to know that when you're wealthy with such enthusiasm, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> uh, no, Fred, first of all, thank you, Fred, um, very much for your leadership and for the Free Thinking um, Film Society for, for doing what you do. You know, I got an email, it was a couple weeks ago, and I got an email from Fred, and he said, Library and Archives Canada just canceled my movie. It's going on in 48 hours, and they just canceled the movie. Can you, can you help me out? And I said, sure. So I called the head of Library and Archives Canada, and he said, you had a deal with a Canadian citizen to show a movie in your theater. Why are you canceling the, on that, backing out on that deal? And they said, well, we had some complaints from the Iranian embassy. And, um, and, 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 and I said, well, we had some complaints from the Iranian embassy that they thought that the showing of this film was a, a bad idea and would cause some friction, and we didn't want to be in that position. And I just said, you're showing that movie. If you get a complaint from an embassy, I don't care what embassy it is, the Iranian embassy or any embassy around the world, you pass it on to me and the government of Canada will deal with it. You don't stifle the free speech of Canadians because you get complaints. <laughs> so in any event, the, the soap proper that, that unfolded happened in, in the media, and, and it was what it, what it was, and I'll just reiterate it again loud and clear on behalf of Prime Minister Harper, on behalf of our government again. The Iranian embassy will never dictate to a single Canadian what movies we're paying. Wow! And, and, cert and certainly near the one-year anniversary of the Green Revolution that happened in the streets of Taiwan, where brave, especially women, stood up proudly in defiance of those who were trying to stifle their right to free speech, democracy, openness, tolerance, pluralism, and liberalization. Mr. Ahmadinejad, President Ahmadinejad, you have no right to extend the theocratic bullying arm of your government onto Canadian soil. In a building, by the way, an agency of the government of Canada, a stone's throw from the Parliament of Canada, you will not tell the government of Canada, you will not tell a single Canadian what movie we can or cannot watch. Wow. Said you are all here to watch what I understand is a fine film. I haven't seen the film, by the way. I say it all the time to me. I said I haven't seen this movie. I know the subject matter. I know the I know, I know the views and the values that are underlined in the film. But I haven't seen the film. So this isn't about as as was just said. This is not a right left issue. David Kilgore, former Liberal cabinet minister, James Moore, a Conservative cabinet minister, were sitting side by side here in the front row to watch a film on a very important issue. I haven't seen this film. This is not about. The content of the film. This is not about the structure of the film. This is not about the views of the film. This is about free speech. This is about the right of Canadians to enjoy whatever film it is that we choose to watch on Canadian soil within the national capital. This is our. These are our rights. And so I just want to say again, uh, just finally, uh, in closing, I appreciate you all coming out, a sold out crowd on a chilly evening in the first week of February on Super Bowl Sunday, packing a theater. <laughs> tensions and what's going on in Tunisia through across east to what we see happening in Egypt and into in the entire region. This is obviously an area of the world that's of great concern to all Canadians. And I think that all, all of us um, sitting here educating ourselves, getting to know, getting to know a perspective about a regime about which a great deal of Canadians and people around the world have a great deal of concern is something that's very important. And so I'm here in solidarity with you to watch this film on the principles of free speech, openness, democracy, and the kind of Iran that we wish to be open and free and trading with the world, prosperous, forward-looking, engaged in the world. This is the kind of Iran that we want. It's not, not what we see with President Ahmadinejad, and I think that we all stand here in solidarity with those who have stood in the streets in the past for tolerance, openness, free speech, and democracy in Iran. Thank you all. For